Hello, sweet friends, Misha Crossing here. As a quick refresher, this video will be a part of my new grounded gaming content style. And what that means is that you will be seeing my face cam, you will be seeing gameplay, and you will be hearing my voice, but voiceover is recorded later so that while I am playing the game and recording that part, I can be fully immersed and present with this new game that I'm playing and sharing with you all and to help alleviate some pressure I put on myself when recording to have entertaining engaging reactions and always have the best gameplay. This is a style of content I've just kind of stumbled into by being mindful of my energy and my needs and I'm finding a lot of peace and joy in it so far. And now, some cozy, mindful, grounded gaming. Ah, day two on our new farm. Longbottom Leaf Farm on Coral Island. Let's watch a little TV. Let's learn how to be a farmer, since we're new to it. From Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith, and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got some tips for you, Sprouts. Let me tell you about them. I'm gonna tell you the first thing my pop told me when I planted my first corn in 19... Water your crop every day, that's it. You get that down, chances are you'll be okay, Sprouts. But you don't need to water when it's raining, you hear? So reminiscent of living off the land from Stardew Valley and, oh, clothing storage. One day. One day I'll have more than these overalls that I reset the game three times for. <laughs> hmm, beautiful morning on the farm and we have mail. New item alert. Introducing the basic bag. A total of 20 compartments. <laughs> So, 500 coins for five more tool belt pocket compartments at the general store. Definitely one of the first things we work towards. Inventory expansion. And soon after this, my game crashed. So let's travel back in time just a smidge together. Taking the opportunity to watch a new show, The Weather Channel. Unreasonable downpour is expected tomorrow. Rain is approaching Coral Island. I love the rain, both in real life and in farming sims. Who knows what we're going to do tomorrow, since we don't have to toss water on our crops. Speaking of tossing water on your crops, I was wondering from that How to Be a Farmer show, we talked about watering your crops every day. And I know this is a video game, so obviously the crop growing and things you need to do it's all sped up, but are there actually crops and plants you need to water every day? I mean, I guess seedlings, from what I've learned, need to definitely be kept moist. So if you don't have them covered, I suppose you would have to water those every day. But, like, fully grown, established plants, I don't think those need to be watered every day, but I guess with that advice they're talking about growing things from seed and also talking about video game logic. So, not sure how much we can dissect this, but it's just making me wonder about when I do get into growing crops of my own. So any real life farmers or gardeners out there, I'm interested in hearing your knowledge and experience. Are there like established plants you should water that frequently? Or do you think they're mostly referring to seedlings? Curious for my own gardening endeavors in the future, but also curious where farming sims reflect how nature actually works and where they are taking liberties for the sake of this, you know, being a video game. And I did want to note that I changed a setting in Coral Island to make the passage of time a little bit slower. So instead of the default 100% time passage setting, I lowered it to 80%, so just a bit slower to give myself space for observing little things in the game and taking time to pet my animals and help myself feel like I'm not wasting time. 
by taking the scenic route or taking a little extra time to do some crafting or farming or wandering around. And I really appreciate the developers for including an option like that. Now let's do some crafting. I love the art on the shipping bin background. So many beautiful plants. Made some room in our pockets. What materials do we have and what do we want to craft? I think a chest is the most necessary, the first thing we have to make since I've been running out of inventory space left and right. And I cannot tell you how much I love the fact that your first crafting recipes use trash and scrap and things that you're cleaning up from around your farm. It's a makeshift chest and a makeshift fence, so it's not the chest or the fence that we're going to have forever, probably, but we are using the materials that nature is providing us and crafting them and repurposing them to suit our needs instead of throwing everything away or making the first thing that we craft for ourselves be something so polished and professional looking. Because in reality, we probably could take time to make a really nice looking chest, but we are little baby birds just learning how to restore some neglected land and get in touch with the earth and live a life that is sustainable and harmonious. We learn as we go. I think there's a lot of power in accepting where we're at right now and taking the steps that most align with that instead of latching on to a huge goal or project and pushing and grinding to achieve that as soon as possible. We could move on to our farm and envision this big, beautiful fence surrounding it with the boards beautifully symmetrical and stained this gorgeous brown color. And it's structurally sound, so it reliably protects our plants and our farm animals and looks very pleasing to the eye, and I, I'm proud to have people over to my farm to see this beautiful fence I've made for it and they're really impressed with with my craftsmanship and my skill and that all sounds really fun and exciting but I don't know the first thing about making a fence about processing and cutting the wood and staining it and installing the posts and the physical strength that takes to craft and install all of that that I don't currently have. So when I slow down and detach from that big goal and pay attention to the tools and materials around me, I can see ways that I can take steps right now to use the scrap wood and old bottles and rope and twine to make a fence that suits my needs right now for protecting the small budding seedlings that I'm currently caring for. And in that process, I will learn vital skills and knowledge about making fences. And I still have plenty of time and energy to give to other areas of the farm that I want to restore and learn about. And I'm not giving all my energy and then some to one big project, one big goal that requires a lot of knowledge and strength that I don't have quite yet, but I will build over time by being present in the moment and meeting myself where I am and using the tools around me to take those next little steps forward that align with my goals and values of making a fence. We're talking about making a fence, obviously. 
And we got our first little crafting projects done, so now we can move on to some other fun stuff. Like this cellar, which we need a special key to open. Wonder where that's gone. How do we not have access to everything on our property? <laughs> that's scary, but mysterious and exciting. Maybe someone in town knows something about this cellar. Also, we haven't been to town in the daytime yet, so hopefully there's some new people to meet and they're deaf. Oh my gosh, look at all the people. Look at all the friends. Hello, you're pretty. Who are you? Alice. Is that, is that you, Misha? Wow, she already feels like a penny type. Almost didn't recognize you, so you're the one moving into the lot, huh? That would explain the outfit. We met Alice. Now, little Valentina flying a kite. Hello, Mistress Misha. Nice to meet you. I'm Valentina. I love her dress. I love that she's flying a kite. Randy. My name is Randy. I'm an elementary school teacher. What did you say your name was? Oh, so maybe this is the kids like outside playtime recess. Zoe. I used to play there with my friends. Oh, I... Can me and my friends still go to your farm and play in the mud? Yes! I literally pressed to talk to her again so that I could hopefully tell her, please still come and play on the farm with your friends. Please do. And look at this sheba, look at this puppy. Oh, but a bug. I'm trying to... I can't... Okay, I guess... I need a thing. I need a net. Taco, he seems happy. What? A good, happy boy. Oh, I'm loving and look at the bird. I'm loving all the animals so far. And then there's another doggy back there and a butterfly. Uh, and here's the town calendar. We got Joko's birthday, Kenny's birthday, and the cherry blossom, a potluck coming up. You want to just sit there and pet Bon Bon all day. I do. It's, they're right. <laughs> I love that we get to meet the animals, too, not just the townspeople. Looks like Lampoon finally started construction on that building. Oh, Lampoon's the name of the company that bought the building. Mm hmm A Joja type. Oh, Connor's in here, too. <laughs> I knew you would eventually make your way here, he says. I wanted to personally introduce you to the owner. This is Sam. He's been running this establishment for a while now. Oh, hi, Sam. So handsome, I love the bow tie. Welcome to the general store. You'll find most of your farming needs here. Most of the seeds I sell are seasonal. It would do you good to keep this in mind. Excellent. Rayla has started barking and it's disturbing Margot, so I'm giving her some soothing pets and scritches. Also taking this opportunity to just check in with life, check in with my body, take a moment. Take a breath, take some sips of water, or some nice hot herbal tea. Sounds nice during this ice storm right now. If you need help, just holler. I'll be by the, I'll be by the cash register. <laughs> Seeing the word holler made me go into a country accent. And Margo's done being on the pillow for now, so I'll readjust the camera back up. Readjust my pillows and my sitting position. Connor says, well, isn't this nice, Sam? You might finally put a dent in that seed stock of yours. Oh, poor Sam. <laughs> I'm going to buy so many seeds. He's not going to know what to do with me. Oh, Sam, not amused. <laughs> anyway, before you get going, Connor says, your moving in was quite unexpected. I'm sure a lot of people are anxious. Well, we're like curious to see who the new farmer is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to folks in town? Oh, already on it, but would love to do that even more. Ooh, meet townies. We've met 12 out of 30. Oh, and what a beautiful cozy baking corner. Oh, nice to meet you. My name's Everest. Eva for short. Eva, what a beautiful baking angel back here. I love the blue of the bakery too. Green? Blue? Teal? Yes. Can't really interact with any other 
food in here. I guess I have to go, oh, in inspect fresh produce. I guess I have to go to Sam to actually buy things. Aha, yes. So bag upgrade for 500 coins soon, hopefully. Oh, look at all the seeds, daisies, turnips, potatoes, carrots, cauliflower. What should I buy first? Oh, grass starters, fertilizer, sugar. Okay, again, we got to meet ourselves where we are. Don't get ahead of ourselves. Start with some basics. Though in real life, I am about to bake some lemon lavender cookies. I've made them a couple times before and they use ingredients that I pretty much always have. And you make like this really yummy lemon sugar glaze to go on top. They're so yummy and pretty easy. I will link the recipe below if anyone's interested. Oh, and before I knew it, I spent all of my money on four potato seeds. That's all right. <laughs> From what I've been learning in real life, potatoes are pretty easy to grow. You can just put some potatoes, nestle them in some soil, cover them in some hay, and they'll grow pretty, pretty easily. I'm excited to try growing potatoes in spring. Butter. Cute kitty. Cute kitty indeed. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh, and that butterfly, it looked like it was... It didn't notice us at first, but then it got alarmed. The exclamation points above its head and started flying away from us. Oh, this fountain says Starlet Town. It's a very pretty, very pretty fountain. Really enjoying this music as we're walking around. We got socket and pan, cooking store, I assume. And then here's the furniture store that Joko told us about. Beautiful, very ornate rugs and wallpaper. Uh, it's not letting me talk to either of these guys. Not showing a name on who we're talking to, but oh my goodness, look at all of this. Oh, hello. Perfect time for Margo to come back. As we look at all this beautiful, rustic, wooden, very natural yeah, cabin themed, the cabin style furniture. It looks like we've got two furniture styles available to us right now. Won't be able to buy any of this for a while, but it is fun to look at. And I remember it said there was outdoor furniture too. Yeah, oh, stone, pebble floor, tile, different rock flower arrangements and wooden flower containers and garden lights. Oh, how exciting, oh, fountain. Swing, a tribal hut, all covered in grass. I love this. Oh, so that was just a certain style of furniture. Now here's the whole catalog. And here's the other style of outdoor furniture, Art Nouveau. Very beautiful. Oh, I want to make like a fairy garden out of this. Sometimes Margo needs some some pets, some scritches, and some encouragement, some in and some patience to choose to lie down and get comfy. I love cats. Sometimes you just have to be still and let them do their thing and they'll cozy up with you. Ah, and here's the other style of indoor furniture, Baroque. And I am too Baroque to buy any of it. <laughs> Anyways, let's explore town a little more. What's this beautiful blue tint over here? Of the clothing store currently closed, run by a 
handsome suave man another kitty named peanut i will never not be overjoyed to meet a new animal <laughs> either in real life or in a game and from the outside this looked like an official town building but now that i'm in here it looks like someone's home sorry didn't mean to intrude we'll just pop back out that that was a beautiful home oh, and I'm noticing the grass growing on top of this roof much more modern looking building very modern compared to everything else also looks like someone's private home I want to play this at least a little realistically and immersively to where I'm not going to barge into someone's home, but I will meet them out in the town and eventually when I become better friends with them, go to their home. And I'm excited to play it like that and just gradually get to know the town and the people and nature. This looked like trash I could pick up, but I can't. It's just, it's just there. Caution, Hati Hati. So I just looked that phrase up. It's actually Hati Hati, and it's a Malay phrase which means be careful or caution. And on this language studies website, it says one of the uniquenesses of the Indonesian language is its possession of repeated words. Hati means the shape of a heart or a liver, like the organ, whereas Hati Hati is an expression that can be spoken in various situations. The application and meaning of hati hati depends on the speaker's intention. It can mean carefully or be careful or take care. There's some different scenarios and, and, and sentences listed. Yeah, Malay is spoken in like Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines. So I gather this is taking place somewhere in that Southeast Asia island region. But please let me know if there's anything I'm misinterpreting or or looking over. Ben says, oh, okay, a new face. Feeling really good vibes from you, mate. Oh, he's Australian. Feeling really good vibes from you, mate. <laughs> oh, how do you say oh in an Australian accent? Oh, no. So sorry, moving on. Suki, beautiful, and she has stretch marks on her tummy. Love artist drawing stretch marks and love Suki for not covering them up. And Sunny, the new farmer. Oh my, welcome, welcome. <laughs> He's so happy. What a sweetheart. I think now we'll head back to Long Bottom Leaf Farm. Enjoy a sunset stroll. And here's oh Zoe again. Come play on my farm anytime. Oh, and look at this grape vineyard, wine vineyard, vine yard, vineyard. Yeah, just now making that connection. On oh, all these materials and equipment for, for pressing and fermenting the grapes into wine or vinegar or maybe other things. I don't know. Hmm, I think I'm going to take the opportunity of this evening stroll to take a couple of Nice breaths in through my nose and out through my mouth. I invite you to join me if that sounds nice. feel a, a bit more at ease and I hope you do too. Take the time to take another couple mindful breaths if 
That feels right. Oh, and now that we're back on the farm, we should plant our potato seeds. Only have four of them, but that's four more than we had before. And I'm excited. Getting a little more efficient at planting and watering things, knowing how the... Well, I spoke a tad too soon, but... I think progress is still being made. And I would like a tiny bit more money, so just a little. Maybe I'll sell some fiber. I know that's something we'll be able to use in crafting, but I'll have a lot of it. So I'll sell a little bit of it, see how many coins we get. And I still have a bit of energy left, so I'll use some of that to clean up, tidy up long bottom leaf on a bit more. I feel like cleaning up trash as top priority is probably a good move. At least the wood and grass is natural, but trash is just polluting the nature. Oh, I'm getting an alert from my body. You're starting to feel tired. Oh, wow. And yeah, the screen darkens or like loses saturation as we're running out of energy. I am going to listen to my body telling me it's tired. We're going to get some rest. A little television, a little of the Coral Shopping Channel before bed. Check out our frying pan. You can cook and fry just about anything in this baby. Elevate your cooking skill. Available now at Socket and Pan. Quite enough of that. Let's cozy up in bed. Go to sleep. We made 78 cents. Not bad. I'll take it. That'll buy us, what, three more potato seeds. What a lovely and fun game. I'm enjoying it so much so far. I hope you all are as well. Let me know if you've been playing Coral Island. Or if you've watched other people play it. Or if this is your first time experiencing it alongside me. To wrap up, we'll have some kitty snuggles and a few stretches. Margot thanks you for being here. As do I. Maybe I can get her to wave goodbye to you. No, she's not having it. That's okay. If you would like to stretch, move your body with me, even just a little bit, I invite you to. Sometimes I do not realize how stagnant or constricted my body has been feeling until I take some breaths into some nice stretches and just feel into it. Another cozy, grounded gaming session in the books. Thank you all so, so much for joining me. Calling back to our earlier conversation, I encourage you all to meet yourself where you are, do things that will bring you joy and fulfillment right now. Go with love and always remember to grow at your own pace. Bye.